Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a loft tour slash Liberty Village neighborhood tour. We're going to be checking out my friend Nima's loft. It's a one plus den, about 800 square feet and is recently renovated. So I'm really excited to show you guys how it looks inside. A little bit about the building. Um, so it is Toy Factory. Back in 1926, I believe, it actually was Toy Factory, I think it was Irwin Factory. So you'll notice inside the loft, there's a lot of the original character that was preserved within it. So everything is really authentic and that's something that's really unique about this. With no further ado, let's go start the tour. Now, behind me is the first thing you see when you enter in. So you got this den space. Right now it's being used as an office slash like chill room. You got the egg chair behind me, which is one of my favorite parts about this. It just makes everything really cozy, um, especially with the lights. It just is like really warm when you walk in and everyone's like, oh my God, the egg chair when you walk in. So really, really cool. Right now, like you said, is being used as an office. What's actually really cool about this as well is that you have a ladder that takes you to the second part of the den. So it's not just used for an office. Well, right now it is empty of stairs, but you can actually turn this into a guest bed um, and have a guest bed upstairs. I personally would do like a little reading nook and just have something up there to go and like hang out in that's separate from work. So you can kind of separate work work for like leisure. Overall, I really love the whole like vibe and element of how the den is set up. And behind me, you have this huge Himalayan salt lamp, which is supposed to emit negative ions or something like that. So overall, really good vibes, love the den. And now we're making our way into the bathroom. As you can see behind me, everything is really white. I did mention this earlier, but Everything has been renovated here, so this was just done uh, this year. But behind me, you can see all the walls are really easy to clean and maintain. The floors as well are like a polished concrete, which I think is a nice contrast to like, the warm wood and brick outside. One major thing to note about the renovations was that they added two sinks and two shower heads. So you can kind of see behind me, there's two rain showers, which I love. But it definitely adds to the value because just having one sink kind of limits it, especially when there's just one bathroom, but you've got both sinks and both showers. So if there's two people living in here, you really have more than enough space. Um, overall, really like the design of how everything looks. Uh, the stone is a nice contrast to the wall. Um, it's a little bit different, same colors, but there is like some black sparkle pieces in here that matches the fixtures and the handles throughout. And now we're gonna make our way over to the bedroom. We got this glass door behind me. So this is actually another addition from the reno. Before there was no door, so I really like how the glass door was a nice in between to still keep everything open, but actually close off the space so you can get the privacy in your bedroom. So behind me, you have the bedroom. Um, I really like the furniture that's in here. You can see everything is nice, again, warm wood tones. Why I like it so much is because the wood tones actually complement the ceilings, which is all original from uh, when the lofts were a factory. So because everything's original, you can't change, you can't modify, you can't paint it or anything like that. Um, so it's nice that everything in the room and all the furniture matches that. As you can see behind me, you have this big closet and I really like where it's placed. Personally, if I was here, I would just lay in bed in the morning, open up my closet and figure out something to wear. So I would just lay in bed and do that. Yeah, that's the bedroom. And now we are gonna make our way to the main living space. 
Everything was really mindful with how they did the finishes. We got this beautiful Calcutta marble stone, which has golden gray pieces. This modern faucet, which isn't a regular faucet, but it's actually automatic. So you don't have to get your dirty dish fingers on it. Aside from that, the kitchen and living space is really inviting, which makes it great for entertaining guests. A lot of different textures, uh, but neutral colors that work really well together and really complement that interior brick that's from the original loft. And there's a lot of little pieces of details that surrounded in this loft that make it unique and really personalized by the owner. The ceilings, of course, have that true loft feel with the open vents and the wood ceilings. If you want to switch up from working from home, you can also book out the conference room, um, especially if you're working with a couple other people. There's tons of seats in here. Um, we also have options to go to a bunch of different cafes. You have Balzac's, which is literally connected to the building. You also have Starbucks just down the street, Aroma and Impact Kitchen. I'm probably gonna do some work there after. Aside from that, Liberty Village really is known for having some of the most famous brunch spots, such as School Restaurant and Mildred's, all in just a few steps down the street. Some local favorites are Locals, it's literally called Locals, but it's really good and it's always packed. So in terms of convenience and what else is in the area, you have a grocery store, organic garage, literally across the street from you. And then you're also close to the exhibition Go Train, which will take you directly to Union Station, which is the central core of downtown. Short jump to the Gardner Expressway and really close to everything else downtown. watching and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this tour of the Toy Factory lofts and got a sense of what the lifestyle is like here in Liberty Village. Comment below of any cool ideas you might have on how we can jazz up the upstairs den in the loft and also let me know what neighborhoods you'd like to see next and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you!